Do you want to find out whether the Swift sofa is worth the money or not? Then please keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. To start off my channel in 2022, I am doing an eight month review on the Swift sofa that I have here. I've had so many comments, I've had so many questions about this sofa and yeah, I just thought I'd make a video and get right into it. Going back to the first video, which I will link up the top here, this was just an unboxing of the item. Um, it's quite a big delivery to be honest. And when I first ordered it, I think I had to reschedule it and it did arrive on time, which was absolutely amazing. So in the video, you will see the unboxing, our first thoughts of it, the process of me taking you through the website. They have got a few different changes, which I'm gonna go through now with you. We paid this sofa with our own money. It is not gifted, it's not an ad, it's just a genuine review. And for somebody who is spending a lot of money on a sofa, we want I wanted to kind of give you the most honest opinion that I can because um, it's a lot to part with whether it's you know just the three seater or the accessories and the add-ons when you do go to do your home interior shopping usually you just go to the shop and pick it out but with the sofas being online only they do have a 100 day return so if you aren't happy with the sofa you can return it within 100 days when you order online you can't see it so that's why I kind of wanted to do it because another video that I did before the sofa has got 4,000 views so thank you so much for clicking on the video and finding out any information so if you do have any more questions about the sofa in this video pop them down in the comment section below so now going on to the online box which I'll pop here they've got different makes they've got different models now they've got different colors I really do like the green one they've got the model 2 which is really nice as well we went for the model 3 um, you can get the swatches as well to find out the material fabrics and the colours. Got all the models which are in the search box. Just waiting for it to load. Um, so as I said, we picked the Pumice in the model 3. They do have loads of other ones as well. But in the Pumice 3, they've got, like I said here, all the different selections. I think before they had literally like four colours to choose from. Now they've got a different variety of colours. We have, so it's a really light shade, but they've got the green, which I think is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It probably actually would go with our decor in here. They've got the brick colour, um, the grey shadow, teal, and the sea glass so which is really nice because you've got more options for this style if you are wanting it to go with your furniture when you go down it's got the key features the assembly the spec and reviews it's got all the information that you would need on there if you've got any inquiries you can just call them up on the number which is on display they already have um a youtube video on how to do put it together but i already did that as well which was in the first video so you can see actually not somebody who's probably done it a thousand times. We actually struggled to be honest because it's trying to catch it on the little hawks. Um, it's got all the measurements and yeah, that's probably the only thing. They do have new things as well, which I um, noticed. So they've got the armchairs, they've got the um, tables, they've also got sofa beds, which you didn't have before. You can order the swatches as well. So if you wasn't too sure which material you wanted or the color, um, you can add that to your basket and get that sent out before you order your um, sofa. I do actually have a gift code down below, which I will link as well. I don't know how this one works because it was literally sent in my inbox. I thought it'd be good to add to the video, but I will pop it down. You do get a hundred pounds off. As I said, I don't know if it's just one and you can grab it or it's just a multi-use one. This is not in partner with them whatsoever. I just thought I would put it down below for somebody who is probably going to buy um, the Swift sofa. You get a hundred pounds off when you spend over 250 pounds. So. Yeah, it's a little money saving ticket if you wanted to purchase that. Now, going into the 
questions that I've had asked. So there is a few which I just quickly run over. So the shade of choice. So here we picked the lightest colour simply just to go with our furniture and with it being so um, neutral we wanted it to go easier if we ever wanted to change the colour of the interior in the house which would blend seamlessly in so if we had like the brick it just wouldn't go yeah the swatches you can get um add them in your basket you can get that delivered before you know which shade um you're gonna get i also think that the colors do run through all the sofas as well um does it move or wobble now at first when we put it together because it wasn't squished like packed together we did have to move it around but now it's like well set like you can see it doesn't move is quite heavy um, at first it did need to kind of sink together and sit but just with a little bit of a squish it it that's all it needed but we've never had a problem of it falling through like sitting here in like between it it's not fell apart or anything we've never had that issue I'm not going to do it now because I've got my pajama bottoms on it's it's a really sturdy sofa and it's quite heavy and well made so you won't have any problems although as is on a carpet, on a wooden floor, I don't know what it would be like, whether it would like slide or you would need to get cushions for underneath the furniture, I don't know. Maybe I ask in a, a forum that they've got for the Swift sofa, or maybe someone's put a review on it, but we've got carpets so as the state's put. Wooden floor, I honestly wouldn't know you'd have to ask somebody um, or ask customer service whether they've had any complaints or anything. The connections, it was easy to connect. Um, I actually haven't, we've not moved it once since it's been put together. Um, it was easy to connect, you did need two people, a, one person who's maybe strong or can lift a lot of weight would be able to do it. I certainly couldn't lift it on my own so I would say it's a two person job although it is easy enough for somebody on their own to probably do it who's a lot taller and stronger than me would be able to lift it um with me being so small and i'm not that strong um i did struggle just to even lift the box it does come in um really airtight packed packaging so yeah it is it's it's just a good um experience that i've had with swift um anything else so yeah the connection was easy to put together so you, the corners one click in on both sides at the bottom the middle one just clicks in at the back and then it's the same for the opposite side as that one and then another one that I've been asked is does the low back bother us no we've not even noticed it to be honest um, I know with a lot of sofas the higher up so at first when we did get the sofa and it was put together it did come to mind because I thought you know what would we put a head on um but no it's I mean we're so used to it now it's just it's just comfortable for us I don't know if you know somebody likes really higher backs maybe that might do but for us it hasn't bothered us at all or Francis so going on to spillages this has sent me over the edge um, sometimes because I didn't really know how the sofa was going to be. Is it going to be up to the standards of what it says it is? It shows you the instructions of like how to blot, how to um, paper towel it, how to, you know, if you need to add a little bit of liquid, you can. Now I'm going to show you the areas as well. Um, I'll probably insert it now that they had spillages. So my first incident was me sat having a cup of coffee, dark coffee, and it just went everywhere. I don't know how I even spilt it to be honest. It went all over me and onto the seat as well. And it's actually always on the right side. So maybe that's like an area you just don't sit when you've got something. I did the techniques and there was no um, none at all, not a patch whatsoever of the leftovers. So that was a blessing. Laurent um, has had like chocolate marks on there, like that he's left or it's been on his fingers and he's not washed properly. So you just have to keep like patting it with a wet light cloth. 
don't get like a dark cloth or anything just have like a white cotton cloth with water and then just pat and then we had a curry situation so we did actually look on the website for curry stains or anything I did later find out that curry is a lot harder to get out I wasn't happy I even emailed them I went to like messages I was like what am I gonna do um, and it did make the area lighter because we was trying to get it out and out and out and out we was on it for like a good probably half an hour the curry stain did go but it left a light little little patch it's a lesson learned we do not eat food or drink on the sofa because we just can't afford to buy another one to be honest and with it being so expensive it's not something that you can just replace i will show you the curry stain also so as you can see it's probably just a little tiny tiny bit lighter it's blended in at first it was a lot lighter than i expected it to be so that's why i was worried but as it dried down and it kind of like a few days went by it's kind of just blended in so coffee and then a bit of curry and chocolate um it's not really done anything to it the fabric is a woven linen material um we got ours in the color pumice i think that's how i pronounce it so this is the texture of the sofa so there's been no threads this is how the sofa comes even though like with it being linen it's not frayed it's not gone loose it's not come apart in little pieces um and yeah it's just a really nice well-made thick sofa there is the stitching so the stitching is really discreet as well i think that's it really and as it comes together like i mean i can't even get my hand down there really but um that's the corner part so that is everything in today's video part one vlog is at the top and part two is here so i do hope that all the information has helped with you making your decisions today whether you're going to shop with swift i will leave a link down below in the description box for you to get 100 pounds off when you shop with them so if you do like this video please don't forget to give it a like subscribe and i shall see you in my next videos bye bye